Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, got a DVD review and uh, this one is in the wake of some recent events that happened a few days ago with the tragic news of the death of Paul Walker. So, obviously we know that unfortunately he died in a car crash, but he was well known for being a part of the Fast and Furious franchise. I thought I would... Uh, give the Fast and Furious a review in his honour really. So like I've mentioned Paul Walker he was the star of Fast and Furious alongside uh, Vin Diesel. Now this film kind of made them to a household name. Uh, it was made a few years ago and uh, yeah it's the film was sort of made when the car modification era became more well known more of a thing to do uh, it became popular really and the Fast and Furious came around at the right time. So in the film Paul Walker um, plays a character called Brian O'Connor and uh, Brian O'Connor is an undercover cop and we as the audience are the only people who know about it and uh, it's Brian O'Connor's job to go undercover and to get as much information and uh, try and bring down Dominic Toretto, who is played by Vin Diesel. It's uh, to try and bring him down, bring down his family, uh, catch him in the act, get him red-handed for all the crimes and misdemeanors that they've done. And the only way that uh, Brian O'Connor, Paul Walker's character, can do this is by going into Dominic Toretto's world. So Dominic Toretto, Vin Diesel, is a big street racer. So straight away, street racing is illegal. Uh, but then Dominic Toretto does other things to get by. Not to give it away, but they are illegal events. They are naughty, naughty things. And uh, this is how Brian O'Connor tries to get in and get the information needed by becoming one of Dominic Toretto's family members. And uh, hopefully once he gets part of the family, he can then become part of his illegal crew. So the film is based around cars, it's about illegal street racing, it's about illegal uh, criminal activities that go on uh, for Dominic Toretto to get his money and uh, to boost up his cars, to make money through his cars and uh, Brian O'Connor has got to get into that world. It's a good story, uh, I'm not going to deny that, it's, it's action packed, there's car chases obviously there's car races, there's a good story behind it. It became a household film. They became household stars. Uh, I can't remember ever really seeing a film which had Paul Walker in and Vin Diesel before I'd seen them in Fast and Furious. The only one I could think of is Pitch Black and that was uh, Vin Diesel. Apart from that I can't really think of another film that I'd seen either character in. But uh, I love the Fast and Furious films, I think they're great. I uh, do like the modification of cars in real life as long as they're done correctly and not, as long as they're not done stupidly. Uh, I like the whole modification scene. In the film as well, the two characters are almost like chalk and cheese. Brian O'Connor's the laid back, bleach blonde hair, uh, he goes for Japanese tuna. Whereas uh, Vin Diesel's character Dominic Toretto goes for more American muscle. He's not your clean cut sort of guy. He's got a shaved head. Uh, he's got muscles. So they're not the same sort of characters. So straight away there are restrictions. There are boundaries between the two guys. And they play them well. You know they, they get on. Uh, but they're not your average sort of friends. You know they're... Uh, they're chalk and cheese, but they get on pretty well throughout the film. And it does eventually show. Don't want to give away the story too much, uh, but there are the odd twist and turn. Um, you know, obviously, this is an undercover cop. However, other people in the film do not. But really, uh, Fast and Furious, besides the tragic news, I have always considered this as a good film. I've always considered it as a favourite film of mine. Uh, ever since I saw the first film... I have liked each of the characters. Paul Walker, I thought he'd been a great actor. Same with Vin Diesel as well. Uh, me and my friend, my best friend, we love these films. Uh, we have been to the cinema to see every single one bar the first one because we weren't old enough at the time. Uh, 
But really, I thought I'd do a review of it because of the tragic news that happened a few days ago in, involving Paul Walker. Uh, but yeah, if you're a fan of uh, tuning up cars, then this is a film for you. If you're a fan of Vin Diesel, obviously a film for you. And if you're a fan of Paul Walker, then uh, this is a film for you. But overall, I find it a very enjoyable film. Uh, I like the tuning, the car racing. Uh, it's a good storyline. Overall, an enjoyable film. It's probably aimed at your younger generation, but then it's sort of aimed at the generation that have grown up watching these films. Obviously, they're on uh, Fast and Furious 6 now, and they were currently filming Fast and Furious 7. So, you know, seven films in the franchise... Uh, they must mean something if they've gone on for that long. Uh, but very enjoyable film if you like your cars and your tuning. And uh, if you're a fan of Vin Diesel and Paul Walker, then this film is definitely for you. Also guys, don't forget, Toby WTD, any uh, We The Devoted gear, 20% of you in that promo code, all the links down below. However, this is my review of The Fast and Furious, first in the Fast and Furious franchise, uh, dedicated to Paul Walker for the tragic loss uh, which happened a few days ago. Thank you for watching my review. And uh, rest in peace Paul Walker. You will be sadly missed. Great actor and a great guy.